Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a webcam border very similar to PewDiePie's. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be tackling creating PewDiePie's webcam border, or a very similar style to PewDiePie's webcam border. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go and watch PewDiePie's videos, you'll see that when his camera is there, he's got this border that goes around, and it's his red and black pattern that's just kind of waving and rippling on the sides. It's very strange, it's a really cool effect. I'm gonna show you exactly how to tackle that inside of After Effects. You can take your own pattern that you've designed for your branding or pull one from stock footage, put it inside of a webcam border and have it uh, ripple and do whatever you want. But before we get into it, I just wanna remind you that I do try to stream every Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravitym. So make sure you drop by and drop a follow and maybe catch a live stream if you're interested. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video and take a look at how to do this inside of After Effects. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. All I've done is created a blank composition, and that is it for us to get started. So first, what you're gonna need is a pattern. You can do this with just a solid color inside of After Effects if you want and apply a gradient, but I think it looks really awesome when you use a pattern. So if you've designed it yourself inside of Photoshop or something for your branding, that is awesome. Just grab that and import it into here, or you can pull one from a stock photo website. I highly recommend Pexels. Check out Pexels. There'll be a link in the description. It is a great website for pulling free stock photos and videos for your assets and for your videos all kinds of stuff but i have grabbed this kind of pattern here it looks pretty cool and actually it's kind of similar to pewdiepie's pattern just a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and shrink it down a little bit and then we are actually going to rotate it so it matches the uh, horizontal of the uh the horizontal shape of the composition so we're going to scale it down but we want to leave a little bit of extra on the side so as you can see, this is our composition here, and the size of our photo is a little bit bigger. So even if you create a solid and you want to do this using a solid layer, if you want to come up here and go to Layer, New, Solid, and you want to create it using this instead of a uh, instead of a pattern, make sure you scale up the solid so there's a bit of room on either side. But we can just delete that for now. We're going to use a pattern. So what we want to do now is we just want to create the mask for our webcam border. So we're going to fit it to screen like that, and we're going to come up here to our masks tools, and we're going to make sure we select the rectangle tool make sure your layer is selected and then we're going to draw a mask just like this so let me see if i can line it up well and we're going to draw it kind of like this just cutting off the edges get it as even as we can like that and there we go that looks pretty good we can go and select our layer and go to our align tools and click this one and this one to center it in our composition so there we go we've got our webcam masked out but this looks weird but we need to subtract it so masks when you first draw them they are in add mode as you can see down here but if we come down here to this add switch and if you don't see this just make sure you click down into your uh, layer here then drop down into masks and then you'll see on mask one there should be an add drop down just go ahead and select subtract and now you'll see that we've got the mask subtracted out instead of adding it so once you've done that you've already got a webcam border this looks really cool you've got a pattern and you've cut a webcam border out of it but we need to create the PewDiePie ripple effect so how you're gonna do that is you're gonna come over here to your effects and you're gonna search turb and you're gonna grab the effect called turbulent displace so go ahead and drop turbulent displace onto your layer and you can already see we're pretty much 90% of the way there. You've got this weird, jagged, and just bubbly look, and you can leave it just like this. It is not animated at all, but it looks really cool. But what we wanna do to animate it is we wanna mess around with some settings here. So the amount, we're gonna turn this down a little bit, and then we're gonna move the size maybe up a little bit like that, maybe move the amount up a little bit more, kinda of like that. That looks a lot more similar, maybe amount up a little bit like that. That looks more similar to what PewDiePie has. It's just a slight ripple kind of like that. So there we go. And I think the edge of this is a little wide as well. So what we can do is go down to the masks and grab our expansion and we can go ahead and turn our expansion up. So that's going to shrink down our mask a little bit just like that. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so now what we need to do is animate our mask. So we're gonna put our playhead at the beginning and we're gonna select the keyframe option, the little stopwatch next to evolution in turbulent display. So click that keyframe stopwatch and then we're gonna move forward maybe like 10 seconds. Let's move forward like 10 seconds. So let's put it at like the 10 second mark there. And then let's move the evolution all the way up. And as you see, as you go all the way around this little dial spinning, you see this dial spinning? Once you go all the way around, it's gonna reset to zero, but it's gonna add a one there. So that means it's made one rotation and then this many degrees. So let's go ahead and set this to zero like that. 
And let's set this to four. So that means that this has made four rotations in 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and hit play now and see what that looks like. So it's playing a little bit slower because it is rendering it as we go. But we're going to let it render for just a couple seconds and then we'll play it and see how that looks. So it's been rendering for about four seconds there. So now let's play these four seconds. And as you can see, that is a really cool, like wobbly, almost jello looking effect and i think that is a really cool style similar to pewdiepie's webcam border and if you want the amount to be a little bit less or the size to be a little bit less you can move these settings as much as you want these are just the ones that i think look pretty cool for a webcam border but if you think this is a little bit too extreme then you can definitely tone it back with the amount and the size or maybe have the animation a little bit less so now we just want to set our out point at 10 seconds but you're going to immediately see an issue that we have so if we set our out point there and we go ahead and hit play here at the end, you'll notice when it loops, it jumps really bad when it goes back to the beginning. So if you have it in your uh, OBS and you're streaming and once it gets to the end of the 10 seconds, it's going to jump. Now, one way that we can create a seamless loop is you want to come down here and make sure you're on the keyframe just like this on the end keyframe at 10 seconds and you want to hit control shift D and that's going to split the layer so that you can delete this one so it just cut it at 10 seconds just like that and then you just want to select your layer and hit control D and that's going to duplicate it and with this top one selected you can go ahead and right click and go up to time and then time reverse layer and what that's going to do is it's going to reverse the layer so it's just going to flip it and what you can do now is take this one to the end here and let's go ahead and line it up i don't want it to be right at the edge like that i want it to be in one frame just like that perfect and then we're going to go to the end and we're going to set our new out point right at the end of this one so what we have done here Let's go ahead and set the end point just in a little bit. So one frame in from the end like that as well. So what we've done here is we've duplicated our layer, duplicated our animation layer, flipped it and reversed it. So now whenever it gets to the center part, it's just going to start going backwards in the different direction and it's going to be a smooth transition. And then once we get to the end, since we flipped it, the end of this one is actually the same as the beginning of this one. So once it loops, it should be another seamless loop. So let's go ahead and play it now and see what it looks like. So as you can see, We've got the awesome jello effect here. Looks like a really cool webcam. And here we go. We're coming up on the 10 seconds. And as you can see, it's going to start going back in the other direction. Nice and smooth. Nothing, nothing that you really notice if you were watching this on a Twitch stream. And then as you can see, as it gets to the end, it's going to reset to the beginning. But it is going to be nice and smooth. There's not going to be any major jumps. And there we go beautiful it is a perfect looping webcam that is only 20 seconds long you can now export this webcam pop it inside of obs and make sure you set that loop box check the loop box and you've got a perfect seamless loop for your webcam border and if you want to change the colors here something really cool you can do is you can go up to the effects here and type in hue and saturation and we can actually apply a hue and saturation to these layers and you can move the hue uh, the master hue here and as you can see you can change the pattern so if you got a pattern off of pixels but it wasn't the right color that you wanted you can come in here with the hue and saturation and you can change it to like a nice green effect there and we're going to go ahead and copy this hue and saturation and make sure we paste it on this second one as well and there we go we've now got a green webcam border and what i'm going to do real quickly is I'm just going to select both of these and I'm going to pre-compose them. And what pre-composing them does is just makes it one long layer just like that. So now I can scale this down and I can show you guys what the webcam border would actually look like. So as you can see, we've got our sharp edges here, but then we've got the wavy inside. So let's go ahead and hit play again and take a look at it. It's going to uh, render for a little bit, just like before, because we've placed an effect on it and we've pre-composed it. So we're no longer properly rendered. So let's go ahead and wait a couple seconds. And so now let's hit play. And there you go, you got your waving green uh, webcam border ready to go inside of After Effects. So what you can do to export this is you wanna make sure your in and out points are perfectly set for that loop. And then you wanna to come to composition, add to render queue. And once you're in the render queue, you wanna to go to where it says output module and select the lossless in blue. And you want to go up here to format, change it from AVI to QuickTime, and then from RGB to RGB plus alpha. But this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So if you're going to put this inside of OBS, I highly recommend exporting it as a WebM. And I believe that there is a plugin for After Effects where you can export WebMs directly out of After Effects. So if you'd like to install that plugin, you can install it in here and up here in format. Instead of selecting QuickTime, you can select WebM and you'll have your WebM ready for OBS. It's just a much smaller file so that your stream isn't struggling 
handling with an animated webcam border, or you can go this way, do QuickTime RGB plus alpha. The alpha channel is so that you have a transparent background. Hit OK. Then where it says output to, click on the comp, whatever, whatever you named it in blue here. Name it whatever you want. Save it wherever you want. Hit render. And when it's done, you'll have a QuickTime file that then you can plug into any WebM converter on the internet. I think I've showed it a couple times on this channel where you can convert MOV files, the QuickTime files, to a WebM, and then you can throw it right into your OBS. And it is simple, but as for a template, I am going to be providing you guys with completed renders. I'm not going to provide you guys with any kind of After Effects file. I'm not going to provide you with this one right here because I do think it looks similar to PewDiePie's um, design and I don't want to give you guys a complete ripoff. So what I am going to do is I'm going to provide you with this one here. This is a solid color with a gradient on it. And if you want to change the color of this in the pre-exported version in the description, you can bring it into OBS and mess with the hue and saturation in the uh, filters of OBS to get a different effect. So here you go. There's going to be this one down in the description. You can download it where you can get this look or you can get one that has a bit of a pattern to it and it looks kind of crazy like this. It looks all like gooey and goopy. I think it looks really cool. And if you want to mess again with the hue and saturation, you can bring it into OBS, apply a filter and mess with the hue angle and you'll get an awesome different looking color. So both of these are available down in the description right now. And if you don't want either of those, I gave you the steps of how to create your own with your own pattern or your own color. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I do try to stream every Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash Bravity. And the streams have been a little less frequent because I've really been focusing on the YouTube channel and a lot more has been going on. But I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I hope I see you creating some awesome webcam borders using this technique. And I will see you guys in the next video.